we report on the case of a 77-year-old gentleman who presented to our clinic with a two-week history of gait and steadiness and loss of consciousness provoked by standing up from a sitting position. His medical history included hypertension for which he took antihypertensive. The neurological examination was unremarkable and we suspected orthostatic hypertension as the cause of the spells. One of his antihypertensives was discontinued. However, the patient returned several days later with a mild dysarthria and a broad-based gait, as well as an inability to perform tandem gait. A CT scan revealed a recent left-sided cerebellar infarction. We started with aspirin. Magnetic resonance imaging of the brain revealed patchy ischemic lesions in both cerebellar hemispheres as well as in the right occipital lobe. The MR angiography showed an irregular luminal narrowing of both vertebral arteries. In addition, we observed contrast enhancement of the vessel wall of the vertebral arteries in a circular pattern suggestive of vessel wall inflammation rather than atherosclerosis. Duplex ultrasound of the vertebral arteries showed strongly increased flow velocities indicative of severe stenosis with hypoechogenic vessel wall thickening. In the axial plane, this thickening was concentric, leading to the so-called vertebral artery halo sign. This halo sign was also found in the temporal artery and the location was marked for biopsy. This established the diagnosis of giant cell arteritis, or GCA. Upon discussion of the findings, the patient disclosed that he had suffered from temporal tenderness and jaw claudication two years prior. As he is a fellow physician, he has successfully treated this himself with prednisone. After reinstating steroid therapy for GCA, his symptoms strongly improved within one week where he was able to walk unaided. The typical presentation of GCA includes headache, jaw claudication, optic nerve ischemia, fever, myalgia and weight loss. However, GCA can also lead to posterior circulation stroke. As duplex ultrasound is routinely used to assess large vessel disease after stroke, it is important to recognize the vertebral artery halo sign as a sign of GCA since this is a potentially disabling but treatable disease.